Wonderstruck Kid just put the final nail in the coffin. He was the last person we were waiting for to drop his response video where he talked about his side on the whole Illuminati situation. That was actually the main reason why I didn't drop any videos talking about the whole situation because I just, well, I, I was just waiting. I was waiting for Wonderstruck to drop his response video so I, I could just talk about the whole entire situation in one video. So here I am. So without further ado, let me go ahead and give you guys the rundown. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I have never watched a single Illuminati video prior to me watching that exposed video she dropped so I have no idea what type of content she makes on the regular but uh, I'm gonna go with what people have been describing her content to be and that is uh she makes daily uh, doc videos documentary style videos me hearing that I'm just gonna make the blank comparison and say that her videos the type of content that she makes probably falls in the same realm as Jake Tran this drama if you want to call it that all started because Illuminati posted a tweet that is now deleted mind you where she says that legal eagle stole her editing style and do you know what that editing style that she is claiming legal eagle to be stealing from her is her literally highlighting words Hi highlighting words she claims that she got the outright copyright on that editing hack where you highlight words and nobody should be able to do it except for her yes yes you're probably like hmm no wonder she deleted because that's an outrageous claim to make. Or maybe, maybe because um, underneath that tweet, she was getting exposed for being quite frankly, a terrible human being. Okay, quick backstory. There is a YouTube group that goes by the name of Sad Milk. The members in this group are Ozzy Media, Damian Lee, Illuminati, The Click, and um, The Wonderstruck Kid. Those members were the one that went ahead and posted on that tweet threads, threads of them just straight up exposing Illuminati for just being a vile human being. If you go on the Sad Milk channel, the only thing you can see are the channels that are still associated with the Sad Milk brand. The person that is left out of that is The Click because he chose to leave that group. A decision that we will get to on why he did such a thing. But first, we gotta go ahead and talk about Illuminati's response video. Okay, so um, the video starts off with her saying that she went ahead and apologized to Legal Eagle for making such a claim, even showing the, the, the Twitter DMs between the both of them, where it showed proof she apologized to the Legal Eagle for uh, accusing him for stealing her out, outright copyright on highlighting words. She went on to say the reason why she even posted that was because her editor sent it to her saying, hey, Legal Eagle is stealing our swag, twin. And um, instead of Illuminati thinking like, you know what? Everyone edits, everyone does that editing hack. Man, I've even done it on my channel, man. And I'm not even an editing wizard, I've done it before. Instead of her be like, yeah, you know what? That's that's a normal thing in the YouTube space, especially my realm of uh, YouTube docs like that's a, that's a normal thing nope nope she didn't think like that at all she went ahead and made the rash decision to post that and accuse him of such a thing she saw the error in her way and she rectified her wrong which which was a great start to the video man if only that she could have carried that through the rest of the video though okay so I'm not gonna talk about everything she brought up in her response video because it was a 40 minute piece of crap so I'm basically just gonna talk about some of the um, bigger points that she tried to make in the video okay so fast forward past that she goes on to talk about these videos pop that were popping up of clicks saying the R word and ladies and gentlemen these videos that were popping up they were at least bare minimum bare minimum 10 years old she goes on to say that oh yeah i mean i get it you can grow and uh, learn from your mistakes but why do i have proof that one of the sad milk members said that he heard you say the arsler when you guys were playing games back in 2020 there was no audio proof of him saying the r word or anything like that the only proof that she had was a chat log between the two and the person she had this conversation about that 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 said that he heard click saying the r word when they're playing a the game was ozzy media ozzy would go on to be in clicks response video and say that he had no recollection of ever 
hearing Click saying the Arsler when they were playing game. And, and he had no idea why he would even say such a thing. Well, actually he did, but it was just a long laundry list of things. I, I just quite frankly was not interested in reading if I was being honest with you guys. Okay, moving on from that, we are now at the biggest accusation Illuminati made towards Click, and that was his Discord server. Click's Discord server being the breeding grounds for pedos. There was two instances. One of the instances was a 19 year old bragging that he was involved with a 12 year old. And the other one was an admin that was showing um, adult content art to um, a, a minor. She would basically say the only reason why those guys got removed from the server was because Illuminati put his feet to the fire and forced his hand to actually ban these people. She closed off that section and like, uh, I, I thought it was humorous how she closed it off. She basically said like, whoa, whoa, like I'm not, I'm not making the claim that he's a pedal or anything, but hey, he is cultivating a discord server where pedals feel right at home. That's, that's all I'm gonna say, but he's not a pedal though. Uh, we, we know you're kind of insinuating that he is like, stop, stop trying to like, you know, I'm a, I mean, I'm not directly saying it, but I'm kind of indirectly saying it. You get what you get what I'm saying? Okay, so she moves on from click and she talks about Wonderstruck Kid. And um, I'ma just tell you guys this right now. I this is some disgusting behavior that she engages in uh, when it comes to his part. To start off Wonderstruck section, she goes on to attack the claim that she is a wage theft, where um Wonderstruck claimed that he wasn't getting paid by her at all. And you know, instead of maybe, I, I don't know, I'm just spitballing here, showing invoices, like, you know, like proof that you were actually paying Wonderstruck, um, Illuminati goes on to just say, oh yeah, 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 um, I usually pay my uh, employees bi-weekly. Like that is a common practice in the business realm, getting paid every other week. Oh, all right, okay, that didn't, that didn't answer the question at at all. That that didn't answer it. Um, we, you 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 can't. You're supposed to pay them every other week. That doesn't mean that you that you did. You you say that that's an empty calorie statement that you said right. That 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 has uh, so much empty calories. Like when I heard that, I was like, do you, do you think like Wonderstruck is like a dummy? Like do you think he, like he's an idiot? He was like, oh. I get paid every other week? Oh, it was just a miscommunication. Okay, hey, my bad. My, my fault for making such an egregious claim. That's, that's all me. Hey, we just gotta communicate better. We gotta be on the same page. Like, why even acknowledge that when you're not even gonna have any evidence to back back up that you're not a wage step at all? Like, you should've just left it alone, all right? Now, now you look like a complete imbecile, honestly. Now, I actually believe that you were stealing my man's wages. She would go on to say that Wonderstruck was going through a lot at the time, not going into too much detail because she didn't want to uh, release any personal details, which, Good on her for not doing such a thing, man. That's great. That's great to hear that she didn't want to stoop to that level, man. Cause I hate, I hate when people in these type of like response videos, they release other the other person's personal details to kind of like weaponize it, you know? And you know what? Illuminati didn't do that uh, as of right now. <laughs> Hopefully she doesn't go back on her word and do such a thing. Spoiler alert, um, she does. <laughs> she talks about her getting Wonderstruck a plane ticket to come to Colorado so he could live with her and Ozzy because she heard Wonderstruck's story and both Ozzy and Illuminati felt moved by it and they wanted to do any anything in their power to help him. She gave him a job to edit her stream clips on a wage of 50 k it was either 50k or 150k, I, I really couldn't hear clearly, with also benefits on top of that money. One of them being a 401k. She was trying her darnest to put my mans in a position to win, but nope, hey. Wonderstruck, quite frankly, just didn't have that dog in him. He was, he was slacking, he wasn't editing nothing, he was lazy, like, like she even got him a car. Granted, she leased a car to him, but she got him a car nonetheless. She was doing all of that for him, but he just couldn't return the favor by, you know, actually doing his job. This would lead to Illuminati reaching her breaking point and she would end up repoing the car that she gave to Wonderstruck. And the reason why she repoed the car is because Wonderstruck breached the contract that they had together when it came with the car. In the contract, Illuminati said, 
you you have to show me proof of insurance for the car and you cannot leave the state of Colorado. So yeah, Wonderstruck did not have proof of insurance and when when uh, Illuminati uh, repoed the car, it was in Austin, Texas. You guys, you guys see how she was trying to paint Wonderstruck? Well, um you hear you hearing that, um hearing this next part it's just gonna make it 10 times more nasty. You guys remember when she said that she doesn't wanna get too deep into the personals? Um, again, that was a lie. She will go on to talk about Wonderstruck's mental health, even talk, even showing on screen Wonderstruck's self-deletion uh, note that, she, that he texts to uh, Illuminati. It's not only disgusting that she shared that type of sensitive information, but the fact that she shared that information because she wanted to weaponize it against Wonderstruck it's just filth. It's just pure th filth. But hey, um, that's about it. Um, she ended up the video just crying about Ozzy and how the relationship ended and yada, yada, yada. Who cares, right? Let, let's go ahead and move on to Click's response video. Right off the bat, he went on to a tackle the allegation that he was cultivating pedo life in his uh, Discord server. First things first, I do want to say that um, all of the members of Sad Milk live in different places, right? So that means that they all live on different time zones. The incident when it came with uh, came about the 19-year-old bragging about the 12-year-old that all went down at around 2 a.m clicks time a detail that illuminati fails to mention in her video click in his video would go on to say that he went to his uh band logs and he would see that that 19 year old would go on to get banned at 2 14 a.m from the time of it of the incident to him being banned it was no longer than a regular show episode it just showcased the type of manipulation illuminati is not afraid to engage in he also talked about the admin that was showing inappropriate art to a, a minor he would go on to say that that usually happens every couple of months and his discord mods actually do a great job of um banning those type of people which by the way his discord has over 43,000 people and it's also open to the people anyone can join his discord server so honestly I understand. After that, he goes on to talk about these videos that were surfacing about him saying the R word. He said these videos started popping up when he coincidentally left Sad Milk. Mm. He would say that he, he was thinking that it was a planned smear campaign. Later on in the video, he would prove that, yup, that was the case. But we're not there yet. There was videos of him saying the R word as well as him saying the N word when he said he was reciting a line from one of his favorite movie clips. You guys remember that planned smeared campaign he had a feeling was happening? Here is Illuminati having a conversation with the same admin, sharing the same kind of, you know, dirt digging old videos that we've seen previously in this video. And she says, 16 seconds, the alt account is gonna love this. Yes, yes, oh, yes, I know. What, what, what do you mean by alt account? Huh? What, 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 do you, what do you mean by that? You, you, you on your KD timing? You on your Kevin Durant ish? Is that what you're telling me? You, you, you using your alt to smear a former cast member of Sad Milk? Sadly, that would be the case. In the next screenshot, you can see her writing out a draft. I saw on the Sad Milk announcement of all the milkmen. Now I'm seeing the comments. We all agree it's obviously not on good terms. Blair tweeting about being stabbed in the back, etc., etc. This draft matches with one of the posts made by an alt account called Doobie Schmertz on Reddit. And that's not the crazy part. That's not the bombshell, right? The bombshell is that she had multiple, multiple alt accounts and she would reply to each one of them with a different alt account. Yes, I know that's Kevin Durant timing, but on ketamine. Like if, if we're being honest here, that is some psychotic stuff. That That is insane. I think you should take Click's advice in his response video and get a hobby touch grass do something with do something better with your time oh and i almost forgot she would also pay people in her discord 200 dollars to dig up these old said videos where he would say the r word and n word so yes it's just that that's just a different level of praying on someone's downfall man that's that's crazy now we at the grand finale man and that is wonderstruck's video it was mostly a, a wonderstruck response video 
video but it did have Ozzy Media making an appearance in it to where he said he's not gonna drop a response video of his own he just said his response video is his involvement in one destruct video so hey we gotta we got a two in one i mean I, i'm not mad at it okay so right off the bat he goes on to tackle the bs story that illuminati flew him to colorado because she felt pity for him and she loved his story and he just she just wanted to see him succeed that was cap that was a lie. The reason why Wonderstruck flew to Colorado was because they were doing a Sad Milk Christmas video. He was only staying over at Colorado until August. Him and another Sad Milk member. Him and the other Sad Milk member was thinking about moving to Colorado just so they could do more IRL uh, Sad Milk content. He brought this up to um, Illuminati and a new Illuminati loved the idea. Not because so they could do more IRL content or because a buddy's moving the same state as him no 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 she was excited for the prospect of her being a landlord she threw the idea of building him and three other sad milk members houses and honestly um i know everyone talks crap about landlords right but wonderstroke was like hey illuminati's my pal that's my amigo that she ain't gonna do me dirty like that and he decided to be uh her first tenant which by the way if you add on top of the fact that she leased a car to him oh my goodness she was controlling every aspect of that man's life that never came about because the move-in time that illuminati had for wonderstruck was was not a comfortable time for wonderstruck to move into it so uh, it just fell apart the next accusation he talks about is the claim that he was just a lazy bum all right not doing no type of work he would tell a story where there was a deadline for him to uh finish editing this video and while he was editing it it froze right the software froze so he couldn't use it anymore and you know instead of you know chalking it up to the birds being like hey man it is what it is nope do you know what he did he decided to buy a plane ticket to colorado so he could get his computer and bring it back all in the same day he didn't stay there for a week one day one singular day no same day he flew there and came back just so he could grab the computer so he could finish editing this video before the deadline no lazy person doing that the next thing he talks about is the notion that he breached his contract when that wasn't the case at all literally he showed proof of insurance in the video his was progressive shout out flow and also the fact that he registered that insurance in Colorado. He was so confused when she repoed the car, so he decided to message her and be like, hey, so like, why are you repoing me? Like, I haven't, I haven't done anything to breach the contract. Like, like what's goody? Like, what, what did I do? And instead of, you know, keeping an open communication with um, an individual that you're leasing a car to, nope, Illuminati basically decides to ghost him. He was in disbelief. He was in Austin, Texas, crashing at his dad's crib because that is the only housing situation he had because he was basically living in that car. So he was in a state of disbelief and he, was, he, he chose to take it to Twitter and talk about it, talk about what happened, but that led to him getting pressed by one of Illuminati's goons apparently, saying like, hey buddy, hey sir, you cannot talk about it, you are under an NDA. So after seeing that message, he just quite frankly felt hopeless. He, he didn't know what to do, man, all of his stuff was in, the, in, in his car. Illuminati showing those pictures of the car being a complete mess, that, that there was a reason why it was like that. It's because again, he was living in it. But the sad part is that she chose not to show the other things that was in the car. Wonderstruck will go on to say that um, all the Mike and Ike boxes, all the bottled drinks, the broken um, hinge on the little glove compartment thing, like yeah. He, he owned up to it like, yeah, yeah, it was messy, but there was a bunch of other stuff in there like an $800 GoPro kit, a 4K drone. He had a computer monitor and he had his YouTube plaque. Like he had a whole bunch of stuff in the way, but Illuminati chose not to show that. Nope, she died to just show 
all the trash that was in that whip. So Wonderstruck went on to um, hit up Ozzy and be like, hey man, yeah, um, I don't know what I did, but whatever I did, man, like, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, my my apologies. Uh, um, can, can I at least, like, you don't have to give me back the car, but can I at least get the stuff that was in the car, like my YouTube plaque? Or, or maybe, I don't know, my $800 GoPro kit? But sadly, Ozzy, oh my goodness, man. Ozzy, Ozzy goes on to tell Wonderstruck that Illuminati made the conscious decision to throw all his things away in the trash. I'm gonna tell you guys this right now. I am either getting reimbursed for all the things that you threw away, or we gonna have some problems, all right? We we gonna have some problems. You might have to put them up. Honestly, you gonna have to put them up and you gonna have to see me, man. An 800 GoPro kit alone, you gonna have to see me. So on plus of that, a play button, you just toss to, toss to the wind? Nah, nah, you gonna have to put these dukes up to Okay, so now we're at the point where it gets a bit heavy because after that this is when he talks about um his mental health because Illuminati made the decision to bring that up in her video when she literally had no reason to. There was no reason for her to bring up Wonderstruck's um, uh, mental health. But now we're here and Wonderstruck decided to be open about it and talked about it as well as um, his trauma. I, I don't feel right summarizing his trauma, his mental health and all of that. So I highly suggest that you just go to his response video and go ahead and just watch that segment, man. Just so you can get an idea though, I will say say um something happened to him when he was a kid and he also had has this battle with ocd okay so moving on um to wrap the way wonderstruck wrapped up his video he went on to talk about the living conditions of illuminati and the picture that he posted in the thread of said living condition that picture he posted he would expose that he wasn't the person that took that picture oh no 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 the person that took that picture was ozzy media he just grew sick and tired of just quite frankly, living in filth. It got so bad for Ozzy's birthday, he said, you don't gotta buy me a gift. You don't have to give me money. You don't have, to. the only thing I want for my birthday is for you to please, please clean up your mess. I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and act like I'm the most neatest person. I am a bit messy. I like to call it organized uh, chaos. But honestly, there's, there's a level of mess to where if it gets to that level, I'm like, all right, I'm living like a slob. Uh, this, is, this is disgusting. I am I am living atrociously. I need, I need to clean up ASAP. But hey, I mean, I guess other people's barometers are a, a bit jankety, a bit messed up. Um, I'm happy, Ozzy, by the looks of it. You don't, you don't live with her anymore, man. So you don't have to deal with living in, in such filth, uh, hopefully ever again in your life, man. Cause I, I highly doubt living in that it seems healthy. So yeah, that's about it for the drama. Again, if you want to call it that, um, go ahead and drop down in the comment section below. If I've missed anything, go ahead and just fill in the gaps for me and for everybody else.